Hey kids, welcome to lesson 15, processing arrays, updating values in an array with a for loop. The for loop you set up on the last level is actually so common that we will rarely deviate from this for loop setup. That is our variable, the number of times it's gonna run, and adding one to our counter. This for loop basically means for every possible index in my array, and we use it as a basic building block for processing arrays. Common array processing techniques like searching for a value, updating all values, or calculating simple stats on an array will all be completed using a for loop written with the syntax above. In fact, we're going to see this happen right now as we use a for loop to add five to every value in our array. We have it do this. Starter code has been provided that creates an array of random values. You are also given a for loop that loops over every index in the array. Add code inside the loop to add five to the value at every location in the array. Remember, my array bracket i refers to the element in the array at the current value of i. Hmm, I think that is a pretty big remember me. Confirm your code works by displaying the values in your array before and after your loop. Blow is a sample result. Notice how after the array has been processed, all the values are five greater than the original. Our example down here, we have before, the number three after eight. Three plus five is eight. Four plus five is nine. One plus five, well, that is six. That's not too bad. What I need to do here is I need to find some way to add five to these numbers. And this big hint right here really does remind me of something. If I, just like I increase my index on my for loop, I think in my array I can display it and add a certain set number to it. If I remember back to my JavaScript operators, I know the plus equal, it pretty much works like an addition problem. Plus equal is saying the same thing as x equals x plus y. That means I think in my array, I can simply say I want the index and then add five to it. Let's take a look at our code real quick. This is like the previous one. We have an array and it is currently empty. Looks like we are adding 10 things into our array. Those 10 things are just going to be a random number between one and 10. We have a console.log statement is saying before and plus my array. So it looks like it's printing out the before set of numbers up here. It says your code goes here. I think that's a pretty big hint where our code should go. And then another console.log statement then says after my array. That means it's going to display the number once, I can do something to that number and then it'll display again. What is that thing I want to do to it? Well, as I said before, let's do my array brackets. We want to put an I in there. And then let's just do plus equal, and we want to add five to it. I think what this is going to do, every time you go through this list, you're going to display whatever my array is plus five. That is, we are substituting the number that was original to our new number that is just five greater than the original. Then we're gonna display that number. I think that should work. Let's test out our hypothesis. Run, five plus five is 10, two plus five is seven, two plus five is seven. Let's try it again. Seven plus five is 12, 10, plus five is 15. So that is working. This is going through the entire list like before and adding five to it. Looking back up to our do this, 
We added code inside the loop to add five to the value at every location. We used our remember hint here pretty well. And we confirmed our code works by displaying it before and after. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.